What's up everyone? I'm here in London. I'm going to be taking the London Underground from Madame Tussauds to the London Eye, the most popular paid attraction in the city. Today's date is Monday, November 13th, 2023. Time is about 1.30 p.m. Temperature is 57 Fahrenheit, 14 Celsius, and windy. I'm going to be taking the Jubilee line for the first time. That's colored silver on the London maps, although Londoners don't refer to the trains by colors, but by the name of the line, which oftentimes don't make sense because they're old names of railways that no longer exist. But that's another story. Circle line is in a circle. The district line, which district does it run through? The northern line has different branches and it also goes further south than other lines. I'll be entering here at the Baker Street station and taking it to Waterloo. Method of payment is Oyster Card, which you can get at a machine or a contactless payment method with your smartphone or credit card or other device like smartwatch. Here it is, the Baker Street Station. This is a station just for Bakerloo and Jubilee lines only. I've taken the Bakerloo line before and it's not my favorite. Londoners like to have fun with the name because it has bake in the name, because it's super hot down there. London can't really figure out how to reduce the heat in that subway line. But that's how the tunnels were built. And loo because it's slang for the toilet. I'm gonna tap my card on the reader here to open the fare gate. And we'll see how the Jubilee line is. Never taken the Jubilee line before. I've heard it has a nice motor sound. I need to go to the southbound platform. So four stops on the Jubilee line. It's the first stop across the River Thames to the London Eye. Oh, the train's approaching, it says. Up, oh, it's here. I've heard the Jubilee line makes that noise because they need to do some kind of electricity conversion. Right, Jubilee line actually looks a lot newer than the Bakerloo. 
It is the same kind of tubular design, like the Central Line and the Bakerloo, but newer trains. Interesting, they don't have the display here where the stop is coming next, but instead it's in the middle like where the pole is. It's a very small display though, so it's, I don't think it's really useful. You can only display so much information. Runs pretty smooth, Jubilee. Runs kind of similar to um, the Bakerloo, but it's a lot less hot in here, <laughs> and it's much newer, as I said. I feel it's louder, also. This is the first train that I've heard that announces which side the doors are going to open at. I don't know why the other lines don't do that, but it's useful. It's interesting, the Jubilee line, where it runs, it goes south of the River Thames and then comes back up. I've heard about the Jubilee line being the loudest line on the London tube, and I can confirm it, it's pretty loud. So you can't win with the underground, you either suffer with a lot of heat on the Bakerloo, or you suffer ear-piercing noise on the Jubilee line, which makes the announcements hard to hear sometimes. Interesting, they don't announce Mind the Gap here.
gosh, it's so loud. I don't even think noise canceling headphones can block out that noise <laughs> completely. The train's so loud. Change for the Circle and District Line. Exit for Westminster Abbey and Houses of Parliament. The station has platform screen doors, which is interesting. I wish more stations had platform screen doors. This station is Westminster. Change here for Circle and District Line. So I'm getting off at the next stop, Waterloo, and it's a short distance from that station to the London Eye. Hopefully no ear screeching noises on the way there. I feel like I'm going to lose my hearing if I ride this train all the time. Oh my gosh! That is so loud! Well, I prefer Jubilee over Bakerloo. I'll suffer with the ear damage rather than the overheating. Okay, way out is to the left. Another station with platform screen doors. Didn't make the train. Okay. On the Nye South Bank exit. For your safe passage to the Waterloo Station, if you are traveling at Heaven Village, please use the available lifts and Jubilee platforms at Interchange Level. And please take with you. Lifts for those of you in America or elevators. Right, South Bank exit, let's go to the London Eye. Make sure you use the same method of payment to exit the station as you did to enter the system. Otherwise, um, they can charge you a penalty or charge you the maximum fare. The way the London Underground works is that they charge you based on the number of zones you travel through as well as the uh, time of day. There's peak hours and off-peak hours. 
It's a rather complicated system. And then there's also stations which are in two zones at once. As I found out yesterday, but they do charge you the lower of the two zones when traveling to or from them. So just keep that in consideration. Too bad the moving walkway isn't working on the other side. Or I think uh, when I got out at the airport, it's the conveyor. If you are traveling with heavy luggage, please use the available lifts, the Jubilee platforms at interchange level. And please take good care. I'm not happy about having to walk all this way just to exit the station. I actually saw a video just yesterday how sometimes the TFL, they rearrange the sign so that it's actually more convenient to prevent crowding. And I think there was one airport that kept complaining. There were people kept complaining about people missing their luggage or not, or the bags not coming out in time. So instead, the airport, they rearranged the sign so that intentionally people would take a longer way to walk to the baggage claim area. And by the time they reached the baggage claim area, the bags are already there. And the number of complaints dropped significantly. But people didn't realize that they were just walking a further distance. So kind of sneaky, but that's the way they handle it. Oh, another set of escalators. Wow, how deep is this station? That's true, escalators are actually one of the most frightening machines that you could ever be on because it constantly moves and uh, a lot of people don't know how to react if something gets stuck or malfunctions. So I try to make sure I'm clear of any like loose objects on the escalators when I'm riding them because it could be quite dangerous. Loose shoelaces, scarves, anything. Because escalators are really dangerous. All right, so tap the exit and we'll go to the London Eye. All right, London Eye is to the right. Hopefully a short walk from here, from Waterloo. Looks like we're not right on the water. Well, it sure got windy out.
Well, there's the London Eye. I was able to get a combo ticket for Madame Tussauds, the London Eye, and also a big bus, um, tour bus, for 70 pounds. If I were have to, if I were had to book all of them separately, it would have been easily over 100 pounds. But anyway, folks, I'm here at the London Eye. Hope you enjoyed that London Underground ride from Madame Tussauds to the London Eye. Hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye everyone, take care.